So, you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to animate, huh? Okay, well, you're going to want to download this thing called Flip a Clip. It's free and it's easy to use. And now I'm going to I'm going to show you how to do the animation because that's what the video is. So first, you're going to want to name your animation. I just called it uh, animation because I'm a very creative individual. Then you're going to want to change your frame rate. You could have up to 30 frames per second on this app, but I recommend 12 for people just beginning because it's pretty easy and it's not that complicated. Also, this isn't required, but I recommend going into settings and going to dark mode because dark mode won't make you legally blind. The interface is pretty simple. You have the basic pen where you can adjust the size and it's pretty fluid for a free app. Drawing is fun and easy, and as you can see, I drew this little guy. And um, look at him, he's, just, he's so happy, look at him. If you click the black square, you get given the color wheel, and you can choose from any color, and it's, it's simple, and it's easy, and it's great. If you click the bottom right button, you get given the layers option. And if you press a plus, it creates a new layer. Under the pen is the erase option, also known as a rubber, which I call it because I'm British. But you know, I gotta, I gotta appeal to my American audience. And with this, you can rub out any of your mistakes. Under that is the select tool, where you can select your drawing, you know, move it around, stretch it, make it big, you know, basically do whatever you want with it. Next is the fill tool which just fills the background or fills anything with color. So you don't have to color it in by hand. And last but probably least, we have uh, the text tool where you can, you know, write whatever you want and you have, you know, a ton of different fonts. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. At the top of the screen, you want to press this little icon once you have something selected. And then you can press the other icon and it pastes the thing. So you can copy and paste it and make multiples of you know the same thing and look i gave them i gave them little faces look at me go and now to start the actual animation so i've created a bunch of layers so i have you know a lot of different you know layers i started off by drawing a head and i made a little mistake so i used the eraser tool and fixed it look i'm, a, I'm an animator guy then i gave him a body because it would be weird if he was just a floating head Once that is done, press the plus at the bottom of the screen and it'll create a new frame. For the next frame, you're gonna wanna copy and paste the head from the previous frame. For the next frame, you're gonna wanna slightly move the head into whatever direction is next. Next, you're gonna redraw the body, but make it slightly moving to whatever the next position is going to be. Then copy and paste the head and move it to another position. The next frame, I'm gonna have the guy's arm up, so like he's talking, and he's expressive. So you're gonna wanna draw the arm. And obviously you don't have to do the same position as me, but I'm just using this as, you know, an example. And for the final frame of this movement, you're gonna have to redraw the position you just did, but do it slightly moved back. Okay, so that's a basic body movement. But this animation is missing one thing besides its face, and that's audio. So you're gonna wanna go to the bottom left and press that little music icon. Then click the microphone logo, and it'll come up with this thing where you can record your own audio and say basically whatever you want. I, I miss my wife. Once the audio's in there, it's better to cut out the beginning because it's probably just breathing sounds. And unless you're into that, it's probably not ideal. Here, I'm doing a little thing called lip syncing, where I sync the mouths to the things I'm saying in the video. One second, I'm gonna drink some water. But um, this deserves a whole other tutorial, uh, and there's a bunch online that you can, uh, that are available. Uh, uh, I miss my wife. Wow, perfect. I relate to this character a lot because I, in fact, miss my wife and my kids. Next, we're going to give this guy some eyes so we can see. Um, we're going to use the copy and paste tool to make them look the same. We're going to paste them through each frame so they match the head movement. And it's like he has eyes. And uh, I'm going to make the eyes close. And I'm doing this by using the techniques I taught you earlier by just slowly moving it into the next position. You know, you know how to do it. I just, I just showed you. For a better onion skin, I, I would change frames after to the same as frames before and turn on colored onion skin. But now that we're done, there's a bunch of excess frames that we don't need. In order to get rid of these, press the three dots at the top and then go to frame selector 
and you can select the frames that you don't want and delete them. And finally, with the bucket tool, you can fill this guy in and just go through each of the frames and bucket tool him yeah, so he has color, so he's not just a transparent glass man. I miss my wife. I miss my wife. I miss my wife. Now that your animation is done, you can press the three dots and press make movie and you know, do all the final changes, name it to whatever you want and save it to your photos and you're done. So yeah, that was a little tutorial on how to animate. I made it one of these tutorials a year ago and I sounded like a mouse and I didn't know what I was doing. So, you know, this is an updated version and I hope it's a lot better. And I hope it helped you guys out. If it did, please subscribe. I'm desperate.